Welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. It's a Monday morning right now, and I thought this week would be a good week to take you, you, along with me. This is the first time that I will be doing this in my fourth year of university. You guys really seem to like it whenever I did these videos last year. And to be honest, I'm a little busy this week, so I feel like this will be a good video to film because I can just film little bits every day and not feel like I need to dedicate a huge chunk of time to a filming session. We're happy about it. <laughs> so today I have to deal with hashtag planner Monday, not deal with, do hashtag planner Monday, quite enjoy it. I have to prep an Instagram photo to go live around noon. And then I also have to get out of the apartment in the next probably 50 minutes um, because I don't have a class to go to this morning or this afternoon, I guess at 12, but I do have to go to a class to do like a mini 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 presentation on my YouTube channel to one of my marketing professors other classes not sure if that made any sense and on that note let's let the week begin okay okay yeah sounds good we're, we're good with that good 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 it's October 1st so the hashtag last 90 days challenge starts and I think that's gonna be the theme of today's Instagram post so need to get a photo for that one I don't know. To hashtag Planner Monday, everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing you, sharing with you some um, planner items that I've really been loving these past couple weeks. The first one being this ruler. A lot of you made comments about it in my plan with me. I am running so late. I really should not be even filming right now. That's how late I am. Hence the reason you're getting this shot. I'm so sorry. Why am I like this? Okay. Okay, we gotta show you off. So see, it's in your head. I just won't go. When I'm low, you say, oh, oh, here we go. It's 106. I'm back from the class. I have coffee. I have a bagel going on because um, there's nothing in my fridge. I think my mini presentation went well today. It was like 10 ish minutes, not that long, but. The, the students didn't seem too terribly exhausted by hearing me yap on and on, so good. I'm gonna eat the bagel, have the coffee, and try studying for the tests that I have in two hours. It's worth 10%, so I'm not panicking. I don't think a 10% test is worth putting much worry and stress into. We're gonna go with the flow, and it's gonna be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. This new bagel from Starbucks, it's a baguette bagel. I, I think it's worth talking about. It makes the plain bagel anything but plain. Nothing other more than a baguette. And now I've got a baguette bagel and life feels right. been the gloomiest of days here in the city. Raining all day. It's 2.30 now. I'm gonna do a little bit more work and then I'm heading to the Cheesecake Factory with Maddie. So I just finished doing notes for one of my classes and what's interesting is this class I actually have to keep the journal so I'm using the Peter Popper Press dotted journal and it's a lot of fun because I get to do it in bullet journal style. I wish all my classes were like this. Salted caramel, and I got the Godiva chocolate cheesecake. I'm so excited. We're back again, as we always are. We never leave. We never leave. We live here. We live here. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, 
think we're good. So it is Wednesday today and I spent my morning doing some schoolwork. I have a class, one class today. Woohoo! This is the class that I had the journal to prep for. So I'm ready to go for that one, but I also have an assignment due Friday that I need to do. Hopefully I can get a few readings done throughout the day. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday. So there's no schoolwork that's happening because she's, well, that's not true. She's coming down for the day, so during the day I'm going to be spending it with her throughout the city. But um, I guess I'll have some time later on on Thursday night to do work. Not as much work as I should be doing on a day off though, you know? And there you go, there's the assignment I have. Fun stuff. I got hungry, so I'm making sweet potato fries for dinner. Um, it is currently the hour of 6 o'clock and I feel like I'm just gonna put these in before the oven's actually done presetting because I am impatient. I'll probably also fry an egg or something with these. How long are these even supposed to go in the oven for? I don't even know. 18 to 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, I can do that. eating it's time to do work for the assignment that I'm working on right now I actually have to create a response to a question that the professor has given us and the way this course is run this marketing course is each week there is a different question for us to write about 500 to 600 words on it's really not too difficult but I do like to put some thought into them and they're not all worth a ton because there is a midterm and a final for this class, so that means they're not they're not weighted too heavily each one. But I feel like these are always good opportunities whenever you have a weekly assignment to get marks. So I don't like to just treat them like nothing. But I also recognize the fact that they're not worth a ton, so I don't put too much weight into. Them. Basically, um, I'm somewhere in the middle. <laughs> As for the class that I had today, this is the one that I had that bullet journal for. I have a group project where we are actually working with a real company that has already come into class and briefed us on their company and different problem areas that they want us to look at. So that's kind of cool because we're actually going to present to a, a company. It's not just an assignment that you hand into your prof and blah blah blah, like a real company could be implementing some things based on what we present. You and your mom say that boy's a mess. On your so unfortunately, my mom didn't come down today. There was no parking at the train station, so she could not hop on the train to get to the city. And now I have basically a free day. Uh, that I should be using for work, so that's what I'm going to do. I think for the first half of the day I'm going to focus on doing some YouTube stuff. I have some pins I need to create for October Plan With Me. I need to get those live or at least scheduled and then I'll go to lunch with my brother and then I will do schoolwork. Yes. On another note, I am so happy that I am going home this weekend. Tomorrow I get on a train to go home. I'm gonna see the parents. I'm gonna see um, all the familia because it's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. I get to see my little cousins who I haven't seen in a bit. I, I get to see everybody. It's gonna be a hoot and a half. Gonna be a hoot. It's gonna be a hoot. Okay, we're stopping. I am back from lunch, dinner, dinner with my brother. It also somehow turned into a shopping for coats session and uh, neither of us bought coats. So that was a good use of time. I will say though, it's, it's really nice having my brother in the city now because he goes to school also at U of T. He's in his first year. I don't think I've really talked about that too much on the channel, but if you've been on Instagram, you've seen me show clips of him uh, when we're together. And it's, it's fun because I get to show him places in the city that I've experienced for the past three years and share them with him. But now I think I'm gonna do some schoolwork. I have a group meeting. Uh, via a Google Hangout uh, around 8 o'clock. So I feel like I'm gonna try and be as productive as I can before then and then once I'm done that group chat, I'm gonna be 
finito for the night. This right here is the assignment I was working on yesterday. It's due tomorrow. I added a little clip art at the top to make it look more impressive. Uh, give that illusion. <laughs> and now I think I'm going to do some notes for my history class. Am I going to do this? I don't really feel like doing this, so we might work on something else. Recently, I do feel like I've been doing more notes digitally this year than I've ever done before. Um, there's really only, let's say, one, some, one class that I do handwritten notes and then a second class that I do like a mix, but the rest is pretty much digital because I don't have a lot of math practical courses this year. Very odd because I'm usually doing more so like more physical notes than I'm doing digital notes. It's a, it's a bit of a, a shift this year. If you want to see me do a video explaining though how I make the decision on whether or not to do digital or physical handwritten notes for a class, let me know. So that could be a fun video, a nice little chatty video. I think I'm also going to apply some Sage Quick Study to myself so that uh, I can have some mental alert alertness because that's what this is, a mental alertness remedy. And I feel like after having I had a, a breakfast for lunch situation, so I'm semester which is a really different experience a lot of what I have to do as a TA is marking I don't run tutorials or anything and then afterwards I have to go to class that's the reason I am bringing all the things with me then later later today I have to pack this backpack so I can go on a train home and then that'll be my my school week in Toronto over infinito dunzo also Andrea is asleep right now home in the childhood bedroom. It feels oh so nice. Spent some quality time with the Familia but I also got a package in the mail and uh, this is a package containing the bullet journal method which is a new book by writer Carol so I thought I'd open it up on camera and show you what's inside. I think I'm also going to show this on a plan on Monday so I mean you, you may have already seen this but I still think it'll be fun. <gasps> Job. I've got a bullet journal in here and a book. What else? Oh. Oh my god, that's amazing. There's one for me and one for a giveaway. I'm so excited to read this book. It looks amazing. Like, what? Mm -hmm. 